Welcome to part 3 of the tutorial. In this stage it will be taking from SketchUp and getting it into Blender. There's a few steps but they're, they're all pretty easy. Uh, first step is the station. Now normally each station piece in RCT is 4 meters long but if you only want one station piece you've obviously got to know how big the train's going to be. Now I've looked in RCT of how long the track needs to be for the dive machine CTR that someone made, I'm not sure it was, and it needs to be longer than one piece. Now luckily there is this little extra bit, so I'm going to join those together. Now that will be long enough to take a three long train, and also the same needs to be done with the ties. Now the first step is each one of these groups you need to select all which is control A and then explode and explode so then you have one group that contains just rail and spine there's no extra groups um, that needs to be done with all the track pieces same with the ties um, with ties it's okay to do it with B&M but don't do it if you're going to use Vacoma or Intamin tracks. It causes a lot of extra poly and it, it just ends up getting messy. But you can do it with B&M because they're, they're nice simple ties. So as you can see some groups they're already separate but this group is quite big so they're all groups so you control A and then right click explode so now they're all separate same with control A you just have to keep exploding until there's only one one track so I'm going to do that uh, I'll fast forward through the rest of it and then I'll catch up after I've done that Once the rails and spine have been exploded and regrouped, I need to select all of those groups. Only the rail and spine at the moment, don't need the ties yet. If you select the ties, just hold shift and select again, that will deselect it. Once they're all selected, go File, Export, 3D Model, check Options, only export current selection. You can leave texture maps on and make sure it's model units, ensure everything else is unticked. Click OK, click Export. click OK and then load Blender go File, Import, 3DS and go to where you saved the 3DS file in my case it was on desktop Import 3DS make sure this number is 0 click OK and there it is in Blender to move in Blender you hold the scroll button to rotate, to pan you hold shift, to scroll is, is just to zoom in and out. As you can see the groups are as they were in SketchUp, just separated again. And tune in for part 4 where I will show you how to start splining. 